Vlogineers, today we're going to unbox and review Challengers Beach Cup. This is the follow-up to Challengers, but this one is a standalone expansion. So you don't need this set in order to play this. This is by Pretzel Games. This is our very first game for Pretzel Games. On the side it says it's for ages 8 and up. It takes 45 minutes to play and it's for 1 to 8 players. Just like the other Challengers. On the back, it says a standalone game, fully mixable with the first challengers. Combine them for a giga tournament with up to 16 players. I was thinking about that. That answers my question. Capture the flag at the beach. Challengers is an addictive deck management game with four duels played simultaneously in a unique tournament. Game play style. Face a new opponent each round in an intense duel. New challengers have appeared. From the highest mountain tops to the dark corners of a secret base, draft over 70 characters with their unique abilities and combos. New sets are fully mixable with their original challenger sets. Reach the ultimate finale and win to become the champion of challengers. Content 370 cards, 16 trainer sleeves, 4 beach play mats, 4 flag discs, 40 fan tokens, 28 trophies, 3 card trays, 3 rule books. Challengers Beach Cup. This teaches you about all the trainers. So the new components in this. And then also how you do a giga Giga tournament uh, with all the boxes, challengers, and then challengers beach cup, and then the regular rule books. They teach you everything about challengers, and I like the look of the rule books on all these because they look very island themed. And then this one all is another standard rule book for examples. Stickers for all the boxes. Very nice. The fans. We have five threes and ones. These are the double sleeves. Yeah, the double sleeves. So you can put your trainers and then your tournament guy. The four new maps. Let's open one. I really like the art a lot. It's very beach-like. And then there's different colors. So each one has purple, has uh, the colored umbrellas, and then the beach. They definitely added a lot more into these mats than the other mats. Next are the flags. There's a blue, green, purple, and pink. I'll show you the purple. Okay, now there's A, B, and C. So we'll start with A and then progress our way up to C. So straight away, there's uh, regular challengers themed cards. So these are the upgraded challengers, regular themed cards, and these are the new ones. <clears throat> so why these are upgraded is because now on some of them, on the first one, instead of you being able to choose two cards from A. Now you can choose three cards from A. And then you might also notice there's stars. If you choose the two A's instead of one B, you also get two fans. Another thing I'm curious about is if they upgraded the bot. Because in the regular challengers, the robot wasn't too powerful, so I really hope they upgraded it. And then they also have these, they also have trainer cards. So these help you, uh, so these help you get more powers. I think at the start of the game, you get to choose one. Some you get to use uh, for the whole game. Some is just a one-time thing. Very cool that they added powers. And then now we got the starter decks. So as you can see, the dog got upgraded. The dog originally was just a three, 
but now they upgraded it on all the decks. So look at the top card of your deck. Put it at the top or under your deck. So now that your dog can sniff instead of just being a regular dog. And now you have the next faction. This is like the city faction for this set. The beach club. This is the kid. That's me. If there's no card with a base power 4 or higher on your bench, this card has plus 4 value. So this can be a 5. And then there's Seagull, which is just a 3. So now we have a Surf Teacher. Not going to read all of these, but you can always pause the video to read it. Note these can be mixed up with the other Challenger set. So, wonder what combos you can do. Diver, it's a common with five and it's a C. Look at the bottommost card of your deck, put it at the top of or bottom of your deck. And then we just got a crocodile. Now we got the fairy tale faction. We got dwarfs. <clears throat> well, this card would be put on your exhaust pile, put it at the top of your deck instead. Fairy, and then we got another familiar face. Grandmother, the big bad wolf. You got frog, a mirror. Oh, gingerbread man. Your cards with a base power four have plus one in flag possession. Carriage, choose one seat on your bench. Put all cards from your seat to your exhaust pile. So it looks like fairy tales are all, all these fairy tale cards are about putting it into your exhaust pile or removing cards permanently to become super powerful. You can see the other factions by checking out our extended video. And that's what's inside the box. We're going to play the game and come back with our final thoughts. We're going to show you how to set up. First, place the amount of beaches according to the player count. Since we're setting up for a two-player game, we just need one map. Pass a tournament plan out to every player. And along with that, place a flag in the middle of the beach. Then place a trophy according to the round that you're playing. So in this case, it's round number one. So we'll put it right there on the beach. Then bring all the trays A, B, and C into close reach. Then give each player the starting decks. The goal of the game is to gain the most fans throughout seven matches. Now we can begin the game. The first step is the deck phase. You pass out five cards to each player. And out of those five cards, they choose three of them. Next is the match phase. Both players simultaneously reveal the top card of their deck. Whoever has the higher value gets the flag. Now the other person puts that card that was just recently defeated on their bench. Now they get a chance to fight back. They can reveal as many cards as it takes to tie or overtake this value. In this case, they get a dog. So three is smaller than four, so they have to reveal one more, and then they beat, they beat it with a champion. So four plus three is way over my champion's value, so I have to put this on the bench, and now they get a flag. The game ends when somebody runs out of cards and cannot attack back, or they fill up their bench in the case when they have to add one, there's no room on the bench. Also throughout the game, if you have cards with the same name, such as these newcomers, you can stack them on the same bench space. Whoever wins that round receives the trophy. And on the back, it shows you the amount of fans that you receive. And whoever has the most fans after seven rounds is the winner. And if you have an odd number of players, you can play with the robot, which is really fun. Plus there's solo mode. You can check out the challenger's rule book to see all the rules about it. And that's how you play Challenger's Beach Cup. I like this version of Challenger's way more than the other one because they upgrade the bot. I played against the bot by myself and it was, and the bot itself was very powerful and well balanced. Also the factions here are more about the exhaust pile. I like how they focus more on the exhaust pile because in the last version of Challenger's, they were the only mention of the exhaust pile really was in the space faction but it didn't really it didn't really do much and here there's actually putting cards in the exhaust pile you get plus one or plus two or whatever 
for exhaust piles, and you can also bring cars back. We did also combine this Challenger's Beach Cup with the first Challenger's, and combining them makes a very good mix. One is about exhaust piles, and one is just very general. Just like the original Challengers, this game is more fun with more people. And with this, if you combine it, uh, both games, you can also combine the cards. But if you combine the mats and everything like that, you can actually play with up to 16 people. Which is quite a lot. I don't even think I know 16 people that can play this game. I hope that they make a third version of Challengers. So far they had Challengers and Challengers Beach Cup. Now they need Challengers jungle edition or something if this looks fun to you you can find out more in the link in the description bye